welcome back. Today I want to bring to you a little tutorial, just a mini little tutorial on how to do this wonderfully catty, smoky eye using of course my drugstore products. Uh, in this one I'm going to feature the Wet n Wild Color Icon Trio in Don't Steal My Thunder. So that's kind of what this is for, is maybe first time smoky eye people out there. <laughs> I'm going to walk you through it. It's real simple. It's going to turn out fabulous, um, especially if you have my skin tone and over 40, so you have my skin type. I'm also going to pull in a little bit, um, actually, whoops, actually just one shade, and that's going to be mostly for blending, and it's uh, this very dark brown shade here, and this is from the Hard Candy uh, Birthday Suit Palette, and you can find these exclusively at Walmart, and the palette goes for $6. The Don't Steal My Thunder, you can find these at Walgreens, Walmart, CVS. These uh, go for about $3 a piece, about $2.93, but a lot of times it's Especially at Walgreens, you can catch these buy one get one half off sale or a dollar off. So, I mean, for one, it's only three dollars now. A dollar off, you get it for two, you can't pass that up. So, I'm gonna go through the tutorial now and show you how I got my smoky eye look today. See you in a minute. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna start with my crease color. I'm using my uh, Hard Candy Birthday Suit Palette and taking my little uh, creasy brush here. I got this at CVS. It's just called the Eye Crease Brush. I don't think it has a particular brand name, so to speak. I'm going into this darkest shade right here, into the Birthday Suit Palette. It's number three from the left. And going to just cut that crease in with this shape and this really soft brush. Now I pull my eye a little bit because I am 41 and my eyes are not as tight as they once were. So I'm taking this the crease and above the crease and just blending that out softly. I just kind of like to keep in this area here so because that's where the shape of the eye is going to take place. Sorry. Tap it off really good and now we're going to this side. I'm right doing the same thing. I'm cutting into the crease and then going above. So there we go. So those are cut in. Yeah, it's still a little deep in spots, but that's okay. It's all going to blend out when we're done at the end. So now I'm going to go into the uh, Wet n Wild Don't Steal My Thunder. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit the eyelid shade, which is this um, kind of uh, silvery color. I'm using my e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush for this. And it has a boo-boo. Look at that. <laughs> and I'm too cheap to go out and buy another one for three dollars. Hey, it still works, so until it stops working, that's what I'm using. I'm gonna tap my brush into that. Definitely gonna tap off that excess. And now I'm just going to pack that on my eyelid. I like to build this up slowly because this is a very shimmery, sheeny color, and I mean it's silver, so I like to build it up slow. Now I'm not doing this inner corner part because that's gonna go for the highlight shade. Sorry guys, if, I don't know if that's gonna pick up. I won't know until I'm done if that background noise picked up because it seems kind of loud in here when my husband and I are watching a movie. And I'm filming in the dining room because it is a very rainy and dreary day here. And unfortunately, I've got my artificial light down here going my mirror, and I haven't gotten my new lighting hasn't come in yet that's going to go like above that'll help kind of balance that. Okay, so we've got the silver on, and now, like I said, I like to build that up slowly. So now I'm going to go into the next color, and uh, this is going to be what's considered the brow bone shade right there. And I'm using my e.l.f. concealer brush. I like to use this for this application. You get a lot of control with it. 
So I'm going to go into the brow bone shade now. I'm going to tap that on, tap off that excess. And the first thing I like to do is come up here and I like to highlight under my brow bone. Now I'm going to pull into that inner corner. I'm going to use this brush once again. And this time I'm going to, I close my eye here and I sweep it across that. So that it kind of gives that little bit of highlight there. I know the lighting is not great, so it might not be picking it up as well. And now I'm going to take some more and I'm going to pack it on that little spot there. And there we go. That's the inner corner. It's very simple. You don't have to have, um, and actually I'll do this, you don't have to use a brush for this. The, sometimes these little sponge tip applicators that you know a lot of people, especially if you're a brush person, you throw away. This actually works really good for this spot too. You can see I just, um, I think though with the sponge, I feel like I have to pack it on more. I have to tap it really hard to get some on there. But as you can see, you see I just swipe across there the exact same effect. Sometimes even a little bit more so. It really packs it on. And so then you can just pack that on right there too. So then I can see my brush. Okay, so now we've got that color in. And now I'm gonna go in with, and I love this little brush, I really do. It's crappy though. I mean, it really is kind of crappy. It loses hairs every time I clean it off or pull on it too hard or whatever but I love it for what I'm gonna use it for here and this is the elf this is the blending eye brush and I don't really use it to blend but I'm gonna use it for that outer V so actually with this I'm gonna pull up a smaller mirror so I can get closer I'm going into what's considered the crease color here this very dark glittery black and I'm just tapping and I mean one tap, this stuff is super pigmented. So see, you can't, like if you look, you, you can't even see it on the brush. Well, this brush is brown, so you wouldn't be able to see it anyway. So I'm gonna pull in my smaller mirror here. I'm gonna try and come up a little closer. And you see that? All right, I'm just putting that right there on that outer corner. And then I'm gonna go up a little onto the crease. And I like to build this. I don't like to start off with a lot. I'm close my eye. Ooh, see what I mean? This stuff packs on a hell of a punch. Or a heck of a punch. I'm sorry. I'm trying to keep this young girl friendly too. Okay, so see there? I've created that V. And don't worry, it's going to look a little kind of crazy at first because we haven't blended anything. to blend because uh, this is a dark and I want to sheer it out to make it a pretty smoky is I'm going to use the elf yes all my brushes are elf contour brush and this has got this little like um, kind of bullet head and it's just clean um, I'm actually waiting I'm going to place an order to elf but I'm waiting for them to get the blender and no it's the crease brush that they don't have it We've got the blender. That's the crease brush they're out of. So now I am just blending this off. So there we go. A little bit of patchiness in there a little bit but that's where I go back in again and I'm going to take that dark brown again. 
that was really good. I just want a tiny bit and I'm just going to go. Okay, so now that we've got it all nice and blended, I'm going to go ahead and on my lower lash line, I don't like to put liner down here because my eyes are very weepy and my skin gets oily and it does not matter what liner I use, it falls. I don't line my waterline anyway, I line underneath. So what I'm going to do instead is with the color that was denoted crease color, um, and it's very, you know, it's that dark black, I'm going to do a smudge to help kind of, you know, smoke the eye out some more. So I, there we go the e.l.f. smudge brush and it's got this little nice shape to it. I love this little brush because it's just it's so soft and it works so well there. So I'm going to tap into that crease color and knock some of that off. I'm going to bring my tiny mirror in here so I can see. And just right there on that lower lash line. I'm just running it across. So see. Oh, my eyes are, my poor eyes and my allergies are just really sensitive. And anytime I even get near that waterline, I do take it out just a little bit because that's where my wing's going to go. So I kind of use that for my guideline. I am not the best at doing wing liner in any means necessary. It just seems I can never, no matter what I do, I can never get them even. So any tips, tips, tricks, advice, I would so appreciate it. So now I'm going to use, um, it's just the e.l.f. Um, liquid liner. It's just about rubbed off, I think. I don't think you can even read it anymore. Eh, maybe a little bit. Anyway, I'm using that, and this is uh, just in the color black. Oh, good. My lighting's kicked in a little bit better. It's such a gloomy day, and artificial light just never looks good. It's not supposed to be raining like this in August. It's summertime. So, how I do my liner, and I'm pretty comfortable with putting on liquid liner. It's just the wings that, like I said, I can never get them even. I'm using the, uh, what is this, my Revlon Colorstay Concealer, and this is a medium, it's just the Doe Foot Applicator Concealer, and I'm just going to put a couple dots here and there. and I'll be right back. So here's the finished product, product and this is what it looks like once it's all blended out. Um, a lot of times with a look like this I would most likely probably wear uh, false eyelashes but my allergy started kicking in, my eyes are watering, I said nope. So this is uh, two coats of Maybelline's Volume Express, The Rocket and Blackest Black and then threw on my lips. Uh, this is a 
uh, red lipstick in a uh, NYX. Uh, this one's or yeah, it's by NYX, and this is just one of the round. It's just lip smacking fun colors. It's the creamy round sticks people know them by, and this is in the shade Snow White. So this is just um. This is a deep, rich, uh, very dark, very pigmented red. So it's not an orangey red. It's hinting more on the side, like on the blue side of red. It's just a, mm, it's Snow White. You know, you think of ruby red lips. You, this is the color you think of for Snow White. So again, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. If you like to see things like this, uh, just let me know down below in the comments. Be sure that if you like this to give it a thumbs up and if you want to keep up with Layla, um, you know, go ahead and subscribe. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.